Oh. Hey, no. now we're live. What up? I feel like I'm. you pushed me right out of here. Sucker. Well, you pushed yourself out. I did? Okay. Yeah. Hi. Hey, guys. How's it going tonight? Welcome. The lights are blinding me. They are? With them eyes? Yeah, these oh, eyes. Oh, those eyes, girl. Um. Yeah. So how's everyone doing tonight? Hopefully uh, good. How Michelle, are you doing? How's your week? Week? Good. I uh, went to Goodwill twice, actually, okay. this week. Sourced. Been selling okay. Been selling some of my own collection off, so that helps. Ah. Um, and everything's going good there. Michelle? Um, my week was pretty good. I don't even remember what I did. Lots of hair mm -hmm. this weekend. All of that, just work. That's right. Just count down the days for a cruise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's talk about that. We're going to be talking about the Venice, the, the Venetia. The Venezia. The Venezia. We're trying to get Josh to say it the right way. So that's 14 days and 14 hours away right wow. now. So yeah, the Venezia, we are going to be talking about that probably, I don't know about in the next live, but soon. I wonder what the weather's going to be like in New York. Look it up real quick. Uh, well, we're going to be talking about right the weather. Now. Weather we're in talk New about. York. I know. Um, so we're going to talk about the different weather and stuff, to, how to deal with it, what we've experienced. We want to hear what you, how, what kind of weather you guys experience on cruises. Um, what does it say? Oh, I don't know. Over here dancing, dude. I'm dancing in my own mind. Uh, rain. Rain. Okay, but not snow. Yet. Light rain. Overcast. The high is 46 and the low is 34. It could be perfect early, actually. That's not that perfect. It's pretty good. It's better than snow. Right, right. I actually wouldn't like rain. I prefer snow over rain. Yeah. I don't even have a raincoat. Do I need to get a raincoat? Nah, because I'll just be chilling in the tub. Chilling uh, in the tub? I'll be like Kevin McAllister jumping the pool and the shorts come off. I was home alone, too. I, you know what? We could get you those disintegrating... <laughs> swim trucks. Yeah. Uh, that were big, which I didn't like, but... When was this? There's a trend going around on uh, TikTok. TikTok. I never heard. Year. That's you and your TikTok, girl. Listen, I looked at my analytics. Not this week. I've been off TikTok. Well, not off, but relative for me. Last week, I, I spent 20 hours on TikTok. I, I didn't know that. I just yawned. A whole freaking day I spent wow. on TikTok. I just yawned, and I didn't want Michelle to yell at me. I have she's, yelled at Josh for yawning in video. Yelling. Um, so I what I've been known to yell at you, period. Well, just today, really. You yelled at me too. Oh, yeah, you slammed this door like a tootsie <laughs> baby. <laughs> anyway, welcome. So, this is our life. Yeah, this is our show. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, a lot of people are sailing out on the icon of the seas today, yeah, which is crazy. It's a huge ship. I don't personally think that we would ever be interested in going on it. But who knows? But yeah, never say never. A lot of people go crazy about going on it, uh, the inaugural sailings and stuff. But a lot of times when I see inaugural sailings, always something happens. So it's like, yeah, well, let's I'll wait a couple happens. weeks, you know. Um, but yeah, the ship is huge. Somebody I work with is going on it. Um, not this week, but next week. Okay. Or not next week, but the following week. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh, and I did bring up some um, casino deals that I have. If we have time, we can go over some of those. Um, so yeah, I've kind of got a hodgepodge tonight. Um, Michelle. Yeah. Do you want to, is there anything else you want to say before we get to highs and lows? Uh -huh. I don't like when you do that with your teeth. You remind me of, uh... Um, it was in the 90s, it Good. was in living color, and it was Fire Marshal Bill. Let me tell you something, or let me show you something, or whatever. You don't like said. that? No, it looks weird. It looks like Fire Marshal Bill. Let me show you something. You guys, older people will remember that. I don't, I never heard of no, it. No, you're too young. 36 is too young. I don't that. even know. I'm barely too, I mean, because I was quite young when I was out. Um, just, just do it, yeah. So, okay. <laughs> Uh, do I have anything else before highs and lows? Yeah. Stop yawning. I know. What's Slap the, the back. Not hard. Oh! Mm. That felt good, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, if you can see, we have blue behind us. Yeah. For my Detroit Lions, who are playing Sunday night at 6.30 versus the San Francisco 49ers. 
Uh, NFC Championship game, it's huge. I got my Lions hat on. It's the biggest game that I've ever been able to witness. Oh, yeah. Because I was too young the first time they played the NFC Championship game in 91. I was, I would have been uh, seven. No, eight. I don't know. Seven or eight. What year? 91. What oh, year no, I'd have been seven. eight. I'd have been eight. Seven. 90, 93, I turned 10. Yeah, but it was in January that you went? Yeah, I guess so. I would yeah. have been like seven. So, yeah, I, was, I wasn't I was into football then. So, this is the first NFC Championship yeah. game that I could be excited about in my life. Yeah, everybody so. sent some good vibes to Lions if you're not vote, or rooting for anyone else. The 49ers, right? Yeah. So... And there is another game on the AFC Championship game. Personally, we don't want. The I don't Ravens. really. Yeah, I'd rather not see the Ravens because they they steamrolled us. But I, you know, I I I don't like the Chiefs that much, so I guess I don't just don't care. I would love to see Taylor Swift and Eminem go head to head at the Super, Super Bowl. Bowl. So that's another that's thing. the Super Bowl I want to see. That's another thing. We will be. On a cruise, oh. uh, the, the first day of our cruise is the Super Bowl. So, depending if my team's in it, that could be a very hectic day for me. Oh, we're gonna just be stressing. I might have to be pushing some old people over. What to get to my chair that I need? Front row, baby. I don't want to sit next to Josh because he's gonna be like flailing his arm. Yeah, I mean, my I was clap last week. I watched it with my dad, and I was clapping, and he's like, "Don't clap!" And I'm like. I clap, and if you don't like it, I'm leaving. You got yeah. into an argument. Well, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> me, yeah. But so it's well, we got uh, 50 people here. That's nice. So yeah. I think we should get to our highs and lows. All right, Mike and Brandy said hello, Josh and Michelle. I hope you guys had a great week. We are just binge watching your freedom videos you go out in February. Great videos. Hey, great. thank you. We have uh, back to back on a freedom. Yeah, so they're kind of whatevs, you know. Well, I think the second leg we really slacked. Well, it well, was our honeymoon. It was our honeymoon. Oh, do you want to tell oh, people what's coming up? Yeah, <laughs> we made it, guys. Almost two years. Coming up two years together. Well, show your ring. Show your ring. Um. <laughs> what? About that. What? <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie. I have mine on. Look yeah. It. Even when it's not on, I got an indent here. Mine's on. Uh, you see an indent on Josh's ring Mine finger? is in my pocket. <laughs> Wait, is it? Let me check no. your pocket. It's a mystery where it's at. Disappeared. Well, we never don't to know. Be, never to be found again. Whatever. Josh <laughs> conveniently forgets his wedding. <laughs> But you see how I have an indent. Does Josh have an indent? No. Yeah, I sure do. And a tan line. Dang, girl. Okay, let's say hi. Okay, Bill Leach is here from Smyrna, Georgia. Bobby Taylor from North Carolina. Kim Taylor, who will be meeting on the Benicia. Rolliver is here. Hello. Mm hmm Alonzo, hey. Captain Billy J is here. Billy J, we just watched your video where Josh had a cameo. Yeah, Billy. You didn't ask my permission. <laughs> Whoa, he did link our channel. Oh. So thank you for that. <clears throat> um, and Handley is here. I, I don't I think I'm behind. It's right at the beginning, babe. Yeah, but mine cuts off. See? Carnival Cruise Addicts. Mm. Oh. Dina Shanita. JD Steele. Lisa Cool. I like that last name. Cool. Yeah, cool. Just don't say peninsula. I don't know what that is. Mm -mm. Oh, pen peninsula. <laughs> oh, Billy. I had to sound it out. James O'Connor. <laughs> James O'Connor is and here. Tony. And Tony, they just got off the Jubilee. Dina said, Go Lions. Carla McClendon's here. Um,. Kim says, I'm so excited for Venezia, all packed and ready to go. We haven't started a single thing, have we, Josh? No. Listen, and I did try to order some stuff from Meyer today. Let me tell you, I was so mad today. My blood was boiling. I should have, like, just taken a bunch of blood pressure medicine. I shouldn't have let this get me this mad. Right. I went to Meyer. I had a bunch of stuff for our cruise that I picked up. Like, you know, I did Meyer pickup, so they just put it in your car. Got home. 
Um, missing half my groceries. I'm not kidding. Missing eighty dollars worth of groceries. Yeah. Or like stuff. It's all like crew stuff I was missing and dog stuff. I was like. Yep. I was so upset. She anyway. was ticked. It ruined her whole day. No, just a couple hours. Did you read Janie Steele's where she said three weeks today I'll be on the breeze? No. Or my way of... I don't know. I'm right oh, here. Oh, see, right here. That's where mine... See where oh. yours is at, Jeff? That's where mine starts. You call me Jeff? <laughs> my Jeff. name is Jeff. My name is Jeff. <laughs> we used to say that to a guy I worked with, and he'd like get so mad. He didn't understand what it was from. <laughs> Uh, Jamie yes. Steele said, One Pride, let's go Lions. Yes. Jeff and Amy said, Hey guys, two weeks. We'll be making them on the video too. Yeah, yeah, Jeff and Amy, what's up? Um, Michelle Taylor said, Hi, Josh and Michelle. I know you're just excited about your upcoming cruise. Getting th thoroughly excited for mine in 58 short days. Awesome. That is, life is good today is here. Woo! Uh, Jane is here. Hey, Mel Jane. Weathers is here. So hey. that's why I was so off of it, Sorry. but I don't know. Uh, Barb says, I live in New York. 46 is warm this time of the year. Ah. Your sail away could be much worse. Yes, yeah, you're right about that. that. Um, yeah. Oh, Lonzo said, 21 days until Carnival Legend. Woohoo. Carnival oh, Legend is a good ship. You like it. That is good. They have a good sushi there, I think. Mel says, I'm not going on Icon with those prices for sure, for one reason. Well, yeah, and also there's like 7,500 people I on it. I do not want to be on a ship with 7,500 on I don't want to sound like we're hating. No. People love it. Listen, they can love it. Yeah. Everybody can do their own thing. Just like the idea of it doesn't sound great to me, but if that's your thing, we support you. We don't need any hashtag controversy in this. Yeah, chat. Mike. <laughs> Meg's, Lovely. And, Meg's and C's says hello. Hi, Meg. Um, Janie, Janie Steele said three weeks to, today I'll be on the breeze. Ah. Awesome. Dina said we had rain in Mahogany Bay, Rotan, when we sailed the Mardi Gras last August, but otherwise, great weather for the rest of the sailing. Uh, Billy Day said, I remember Fire Marshal Bill and Living Color was great. Yeah, I was so one of those shows I wasn't allowed to watch, but somehow I still did. I never even really heard of it. It was a kind it was kind of like Saturday Night Live, but like a lot more diverse. Oh, <laughs> cool. Yeah. Um our Oliver said weather in Western Caribbean in April. Horizon coming in April. I think the weather in the Western Caribbean should be fine. Rain, probably. Maybe a little rainy, but I think overall it should be pretty good. We it's got warm. Hello is here. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we do that every time? Carla said, I remember in Living Color. Love that show. Amanda Francis is here. Hey, we'll Lovey's see Amanda here. Soon. Tess is here. Lovey says, hit that thumbs up. Thank you, Lovey. Thanks, Lovey. Um, Carla says, I'll cheer on the Lions this week. Thank you, Carla. And said, you, you will need warm clothes for the beginning of your cruise and the end of your cruise just for embarkation and debarkation. Well, Thank yeah. you, Ann. And we'll be in New York for two days. So um, we'll, I think we'll probably be doing some walking. So right. we'll probably need some gloves, I imagine, too. Also, when the ship is open like that, you know... Like, you know, the ship is going to be cold. Oh, it's going to be freezing Because all inside. the doors are open. Yeah. So, if I had long johns, I would be wearing them. Mel says, I was born in 91. I was born in 88. I was born in 83. <laughs> uh, our Oliver says, love you. What up, man? Oh, well, you don't need to ask what he's doing. He's just sitting in his chair. Same chair he sits in every day. Dina said, I was born in 84. Okay. Um, Eric Chung is here. Hey, hey Eric. Eric. Uh, Wait, Billy? He always does. I told him. I, he's rooted for the Rams. Yeah, keep they doing lost. it. He rooted for the Buccaneers. They lost. I said, Billy, keep thank you for it. rooting for the opposite team. Um, Jane said, what is the longest cruise you guys have taken on Carnival? Oh, uh, well, we've done back to back. Are you taking about, talking about back to backs or just like one continuous cruise? It'll be the one coming up 12 days. The longest a single cruise we've been on so far is eight, eight days. days. The longest time we've been on a ship, 14. 14. Yep. The longest time we've been on a ship and haven't left, five days. Well, six days. We did a six day cruise and never left the you ship. You did it. I did. Yeah. Uh, Carl says, as a Steelers fan, I will not be cheering for the Ravens. Okay. Um, and said, since the Buffalo Bills are no longer in it, I guess I can be for the Lions. That's right. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Mel said, I'm looking forward to Usher's halftime show. Michelle, 
Listen, Unleash your Usher rage. I it's not me, it's TikTok. Yeah, but you're like, I don't like him. I said sometimes he dances a little bit like cringy, but you know. What does that mean? Michelle said on TikTok they make fun of Usher for being an old man. Everybody ages, man. Well, listen, they don't make fun as much of Usher as they do Justin Timberlake, and his dancing is like terrible. He's just like bouncing around, it's bad. <laughs> I don't mind Usher. You know, some of his stuff didn't age that well, but that's just, you know, how things go. Billy J said, Chiefs for 49ers is my Super Bowl prediction. Meg said, Josh during the football game sounds like Paul during college football games. Um, just Cody said, hey, Josh and Michelle. Hey, hey. Cody, just Cody. Um, he said, we're the goats. Yeah. You know what that means? Greatest of all time. Boom. Eat your heart out, Mike. <laughs> Uh, we'll pay you later, just Cody. <laughs> Billy said Josh doesn't want that handcuff on his finger. Yeah, Josh conveniently forgets it in airport bathrooms and right handcuff Billy J. Well, this is like a love, continuous love. I know where it's at. Catherine said hello, 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 Catherine. Mel said you trying to be single, Josh? No. Lisa said, happy anniversary. Catherine said, oh, just say It's hi. next Sunday. Yeah. Meg said, Josh, get a silicone ring. Way more comfy, and your ring can be happy at home. But you're still taken in public. Just uh, start, oh, okay. It doesn't matter to me, to be honest. I like, wear it out. I just don't wear it at home. I just like to give Josh a hard time. To me, it doesn't matter. If he wears it, he wears it. If he doesn't, he does it. He better be coming home to me. That's all I got to say. Billy said, yes, Josh had a cameo in my video. The, vo the viewers dropped like flies when his face showed up. Dang. Well, thank you, Billy. Uh, well, that's the opposite effect on Mike's channel because his ratings go way up way when up. our faces are on this channel. Up. You better never forget that. Um, it, oh no, and, and said washing my hands and putting sanitizer on. Uh, Steve and Lisa are here. Hey, Steve and Lisa, hope you guys are doing well. Nancy hey. Fields is here. Dina Shanita said, Will and I are possibly looking into sailing with the fam on the Carnival Magic in August. Cool, nice ship. I think you guys will like it. It's not super huge. Sugar is here. Sugar. Daniel Fields is also here. Hey. Um, Kim says we are so excited about the 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 um, say it right. Venetia. Why don't you get in camera here? How do you say it? Venetia. Venetia. We booked it again for May 27th. Nancy said I was on TV today. Well, Nancy. Hey. Well, hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. Be nice to Nancy. What? That is nice. <laughs> Just, she's, she's flexing. Yeah, that's cool. I wonder why you were on TV. Uh, Paul said, howdy. If Detroit wins the Super Bowl, this is the last live Josh will be on for free. Wait a minute. <laughs> Lovey said, I'm moderating, moder moderating tonight. eBay <laughs> shopping. Okay. This is the guy that comes to me and goes, I can't buy anything else. And then every night he's on eBay looking for stuff. Um... I Daniel Field says, I hated Fire Marshal Bill. Um, it was Jim Carrey that played it. John's wife for life said, hello, we'll be on the Freedom in 99 days. Nice. That's awesome. You know what? I like the Freedom. I just didn't like the Freedom for a back-to-back. -back. No, I would never choose that for a back-to-back -back again. No, it's like a six-day or an eight-day cruise? Sure. If I was... A four-day? Four well, listen, cruise? if I was retired, I might do a back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back oh, okay. to back on it. I could do four back-to-backs on it. But if I'm taking time off work, no. Yeah. We like the ship, though. Yeah. Um, Catherine says, I was on TV yesterday, the Lido camera on the dream. Ah. Uh, Meg said, rain is normal in the Caribbean. Yeah. Now, listen, though. We've really only, ex only experienced rain, like, three times on all of our cruises. The Caribbean, this, like, celebration cruise, though. Was the rainiest cruise we ever been on. Oh, yeah, but we didn't go out in it that much. I did, too. I didn't. Oh, oh what was that, Michelle? That was this. It's hitting the dog? No. Oh. Um, Nick says, uh, being at the Emmys and, and uh, a Channel 5 reporter. Oh, okay, cool. I'm happy for you. 
Mezzi says 83 is best year. Daniel Post says born in 68, old enough to hate the Niners. <laughs> Nancy Post says 1960, born equals old. No, Nancy. Jane said cool. Listen, Nancy, say experienced. Carlos said born in 69. There Cheryl, you go. one deck down, says hey there. Hey, Cheryl. Um, Lovey's asking Ann, did we get your shot glasses at the bar crawl? Buffalo? I love you. I told you that was from them. Also, Lovey, remember when you didn't eat dinner with them that time? <laughs> Just stop it. Because you were busy, like, I think you were busy trying to hide now with other channels, trying to get subs. Josh is like a plunger. Um, Always bringing up old shit. I tell you. Barb ya. says, born in 68, probably should take a nap now. No. Our Oliver said, Michelle, 88. I graduated high school in 1988. Lord. <laughs> Carmel Kuzak says, don't diss Justin Timberlake. I, Dang. I, I mean, whatever. <laughs> I like Justin, too. John's wife for life says, usher, usher, usher. usher, usher. usher. Uh, Meg likes Usher. Usher, oh, that's Mel. Mel Sorry. says, I like Usher. Usher is sexy and looks good for his age. He can also dance and sing his ass off. Michelle thinks he dances cringy, and so does the new generation. Like the kids that are teenagers and in their 20s well, and I, also watch TikTok like Michelle that want to be in their 20s. 20 hours a week. They <laughs> think Usher is cringy when he dances. Daniel Phil says, Super Bowl best viewership match is Taylor Swift versus Lions. Yeah, I think so. If you have, hey, listen, if you have the Chiefs versus the Lions, that's got to be, is going to have to be probably one of the highest rated Super Bowls of all time. I'm serious. Yeah. It's going to be. Catherine, you're not the youngest in the chat. Mel Weathers was born in 1991. Hello said Usher equals cool. I think so, too. The, good, the guy was cool when I, you know, I remember yeah. him first. I think I was in seventh grade in 97. I think that's when he came out with, is, was, uh, what was that? Burn? No, that was in high school. Oh. I'm talking about his first CD, which was it My Way? I can't remember what it was called, but yeah, he, I think it was called My Way. I remember that song. Night. Take it for us. What satisfying me? We keep running back to see, do it my way. My. Yeah, what was his first CD? I'm... Oh, just called Usher. Yeah. Okay, it was just called Usher, but I remember the song My Way. Sorry. My Way. Yeah, I told you. Yep. Yep. Nice and slow. Yeah, nice and slow was huge, man. Slow jam. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that was the huge CD when I was in school and like junior high. I can't believe they had CDs on. Yeah, when it was huge. When I you can get a CD single back then, guys. You guys <laughs> remember that? I used to go buy them. Cheryl said, "Born in the '50s." Older than dirt. No, no, My mom no. and dad were both born in the 50s, 1959. My mom, too. Yeah, your dad was born in the 40s. 40s. Her dad was born in the 40s, guys. Yeah. My grandfather was born in the early 30s. Yeah. Still kicking. Yep. Uh, our Oliver said, Mike, old dudes rule. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, Mike rules? No. Billy just said, okay, maybe not handcuff, ball and chain. Oh, dang. Uh, Nancy said, Channel 5 still put me on old lady on their show. <laughs> Lovey said, just use a bread tie of on ring finger, Josh. Now, Paul says, isn't Usher? I don't know if we should read this, actually, though. Because I don't know if we want to get into this on our show. I don't think we want to get into it. But I'm going to read it, but I'm going to move on. Because I don't know the answer to this. Paul said, isn't Usher a groomer? Now, I don't know any of the allegations. I'm not getting into I don't that. know. I never heard that. Hey, I like the guy's music. James? See, I also can appreciate Michael Jackson's music. I can separate it from all the other stuff. Though he never was convicted of things that Michael Jackson, people said that. I can still appreciate Michael Jackson for who he what artist he was. Yeah, so I can separate well, welcome oh, to Jane. Adventures Ahead Controversy. Uh, Jane, thank you so much thank for you the for that super sticker. That's more than than Mike normally gives us, isn't it? Josh, he gives 99 cents. He gives 99 cents. Thank you, Jane. We appreciate oh, it. Oh, I love Anne's, Anne's giving us some advice for New York. She said, one thing you need to be careful of is pickpockets if you're going to be walking. I have a travel purse that has clips to lock the zippers. Just be careful. The roof closes over the pool area. Wait, we need to be careful of pickpocketers on the ship? Wait. 
And what? No, I think I think just if we're walking around oh, New York. Oh, I got a front bag. It's right here. So. Eric Chung said, "You guys ever get tired of the fireball song at the hot seat event?" Uh, no, no, because that's I fun. Love it. Yeah, 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 we're we're usually partying, dude. I mean, now we don't even drink we anymore, but drink, it's fun. But we're like, I'm on fireball. We always dance. <laughs> but look at Josh. Yeah, we're 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 we do. A well, I have dance. hit that before. I have too. Yeah, we both hit fireball before. It's like seventy-five Look at bucks. Our rings. Oh, wasn't it seventy-five bucks? I won fifty. Fifty. Yeah. I think mine was seventy-five. Yeah. Jay Steele said 40, 43 years of marriage on the twenty-fourth. This wow. Month. Congrats, Jay. Congrats. Bruno Flipper and Susan says, "I'm looking for a Super Bowl without the East or West Coast teams." Wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> well, that means the Lions. Hey, welcome, Bruno, Flipper, and Susan. Mel said, my ring got too big, and my husband wanted me to wear it. I usually wear a silicone one. I ended up losing it on our daily walk with our dog oh, a couple of weeks ago. That sucks, that's Mel. That's sad. Tess said, Kevin, how you feeling? Oh, uh, Meg said, I forgot Josh doesn't work in restaurant anymore. I wasn't able to wear my ring there. I finally got a silicone ring to keep other people from chatting at me like I was single. Oh. Love said, freedom was great for fluffy people. One of our favorites for that. Yeah, Mike, you do bring a great point. That is a really good ship for fluffy people. Lonzo said, have you ever gone to the 80s night? And if so, what, what to expect? We have we, gone. We haven't stayed. <laughs> we were there for about five minutes and left. We were too full. It's just not our gig, man. We're not like big deck party people. Not at all. I, I have come to a pre, depending on my mood, I guess. I have come to appreciate a sail away party. I like a sail away as, party. As long as we're on like an upper deck and we're looking down on it. I like an atrium party. Yeah, we have done one of those in a long time. I love an atrium party. I love how you're just head down, show like not even looking. Oh. Um, Meg said rain is also normal in Florida any time of the year. Yeah. Uh John's wife for life said 1964 equals season. Yeah, season. Experience. Said, Forgetful, Josh. Uh, uh, Daniel Fields graduated, graduated in 87. 87. And also Daniel Fields was on an episode of Quantum Leap. Yes. Were you ever on an episode of Auto Man? Just wondering. He sang we on Carnival. We did see Auto Man one time. Auto Man actually did sing on a Carnival uh, ship. His name is Chuck Wagner. Yeah. My, I, thought, I said, Mom, do you remember that guy's show? And she goes, I think I do. Well, and then you and know we're talking about... I was like, man, that guy's hard up for work. And there he was sitting right there. And I'm like, oh, no. Why'd I say that? Allison uh, Mim says, hey, guys. Hey, girl. I'm late. Sorry. Lovey says, I was picking on you about a silicone ring. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I already read that. Catherine says, oh, uh, <laughs> test graduated in 1991. Lisa said, we were on the celebration the week after you guys. And it was very rainy and overcast for us, too. Yeah, yeah. it was. Um, Lovey says, stop ears hurting because I say, yep. Um, uh, and said, I will tell you what happened. Mike said, they always go to Seafood Shack for lunch. I said, so do we. So I said, we should meet him there uh, that first day. So we showed up and he did. Here's the real story. <laughs> Dang, Mike. Okay. This is Mike on his live show. Yeah, man, please. So, uh, yeah, I'll meet you there. Don't forget to send that super chat. That's probably what he said. <laughs> Shut um, up, Jeff. Dax is here. Hey, Ann, thanks for setting the story straight with that because we were wondering what happened. Yeah, what? Mike, Mike, no, Ann, you gotta, we gotta, we gotta remember Mike is a deceiver well, and a liar. He's got memory issues. Remember that. He's old. He's a deceiver and a liar. Josh, um, don't say Dax that. Says, That's hey. defamation of character. He's going to be suing you. Love like Janice. So we've been going back and watching the old school surreal <laughs> lives from like mid-2000 goodness of VH1 oh, reality I shows. Love it. And it's fun. It's called the surreal life. Janice Dickinson is going to be She's suing crazy. Amorosa for <laughs> defamation of character. Let me say, if he said, if I said that, I don't remember it. <laughs> Dang, Mike. I wish I was old so I could use that excuse. <laughs> hey, if he started taking Prenogen, maybe is that's for your memory when you get old. Um, <laughs> Dana first says, if I if you're here, please join our Facebook group. Thank you, Amanda. <laughs> Lovey said, that's my story. Yeah. Oh, I love this joke from Beautiful Princess. We went to a wedding and Usher took us to the pews. <laughs> 
Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, oh, Anne said yes, just walking around New York. Lovey, okay. Lovey said yes, we do love seafood chef. Did eat there all week. Oh, gosh. Lovey, Lovey is just more excuses, isn't he? He's yeah. more excuses than I don't even know. Uh, Sugar said, go, Josh, dance. Max says, if you have been to a major city ever, which y'all have, you'll be fine in New York. Just keep your city starts ab smarts, smarts about you. Eric said, Mr. Worldwide to infinity, you know the roof on fire. Gonna boogie, woogie, oogie, jiggle, wiggle, dance. Yep. Okay. Do we even get to see the halftime show on the show? No, that's, that's the fireball. That's the thing at the machine. Oh, I'm asking about the, the I, Yeah, show. they show it. Oh, do they? Yeah. Jane said, gotta go. Hope you have a nice time on your extras. Thank oh, you, Jane. Thank well, you, we'll Jay. be live next week. Yeah. Max said, I love deck parties, so it's quiet everywhere else. Uh, and said, well, I remember, Mike, and I'm a lot older than you are. Dang! Called out. I love this, Mike. Mike's going to be leaving the chat very soon. Um, <laughs> can't wait for all the elite drawings. Bill got called two times last time and missed it the first night. After that, we never missed it again and got called once to bed on, on a hot seat before two. Okay. Uh, oh, Dave says, on an episode of Blossom as well. Oh my gosh, well, I, I love, used to love Blossom. Blossom. Yeah, I remember our babysitter would watch that and she'd be like, you guys can't watch this. I don't know why, but she said it. Blossom has a, whoa. Is that... Yeah, okay. Joey, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Joey, uh, Joey Lawrence. Yeah, I like that whoa. show. Uh, Quantum Leap is one of my favorite shows, Mike said. I have VHS recordings at my brother's house, but no VHS player. Dang. Jeff and Amy want to know if we do piano bars. They went to the first one on The Legend. No, we do not. Not usually, but we might give it a chance. Uh, we had before. Yeah. But it's not a normal thing for Listen, us. Listen, this is what really scarred us about a piano bar. I just want to say this. We tried to request... Uh, I would say popular Billy Joel song called Down Eastern Alexa. The guy didn't know it. The guy and we gave him like a $20 it. tip. And he didn't, and it just like really scarred us. This he, was him. He was like, da, 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 I don't know it. Down Alexa. That's what he did. It was something. Yeah, weird. I was like, wait, you don't know Down Eastern Alexa? That is a. I don't think that's a well. I think it's well, known, but it's not, it's not like you were like saying. Play. I just want to say it's on a very popular movie. The Hangover. Amanda Frank says, don't forget to give those thumbs up. Thanks. Allison said, I'm leaving tomorrow on a solo cruise out of Baltimore. Track oh. is going to be crazy with the game. Well, good luck. Let me say, I'm going to own all his horror toys. Defamation of character. There is one he wants, though. 8-Bit Jason uh, Funko figures. Yeah, so, that... yeah, he wants that one bad. Sugar said, good night. Bye, Sugar. Oh, bye, Sugar. Said, I'm Mel, Mel said, I love trash reality TV, especially the old ones. Flavor of Love and I Love New York. Love it. You know what other one I love? That Brett Michaels one. Yeah, Rock of Love. Rock of Love. I didn't watch Flavor of Love. I love Flavor of Love. I loved I, I loved I, I loved New York. Do you remember Cool Academy? Yep. That was horrible, but it was great. I watched that. I love Surreal Life. I love all those VH1 shows. Sugar said, "Good night, going to bed. Pain kill, oh. pain pill, kicking in and having a good night." Lovey said, "I'm gone. Anna's harassing me." <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Said, "What about 90 Day Fiance?" No, I we never. I only watched that. that one guy that had like no neck. <laughs> Paul said, "Quantum Leap is the go. It's a really good." <laughs> My mom used to really love that show, and I remember watching it back then because she would watch it. Yeah, my mom was a big fan of Quantum Leap. Back in the day, uh, Mick said, I would recommend a piano bar on smaller ships. Okay. Allison said, it's hit or miss in piano bars. Some performers are good and some are horrible. My last two sucked. Um, Meg said, will there be an Endless Evolution video sometime soon? Yeah, I just posted one today. Oh. I just posted a video today. Uh, about Meg. something specific, is she asking? Yeah, about turtles. Oh. I about turtles. turtles. <laughs> uh, it said, how do you think I felt when you never showed up? Yikes. Dang, Mike. This you, is a comfy. Yep, you you gone, dude. You lost a sub. <laughs> Daniel Field says, I was was on the two-parter black and white. Blossom fell asleep on a couch and dreamed she was some sort of Blossom in the Madonna's Truth or Dare documentary. 
Really? Okay. Okay. You have the clip? Send it to me on private message. Well. I missed the video. I like get, totals. Do you get royalties? We should go watch the episode. I don't know what the episodes are streaming. Uh, Peacock? Well, they don't get royalties off. Well, if it's an NBC show, it might be on Peacock. Well, they don't get royalties off of streaming, huh? Oh, no. That's the so. whole issue. Okay. So let's talk about weather. Now. 25 minutes left, and we got to talk about weather here. So. Um, we've been on lots of different cruises. Basically, uh, you know, we've been on when it's snowing, yep. when it's raining, when it's sunny. Uh, we've been through a hurricane. Yes. We Tropical depression. Yep. Um, what else? Bright and sunny, beautiful skies. Yep. We've had, we've had really rocky seas. We've had sailing on glass, oh, which yeah. the carnival elation with my parents, oh, yeah. was the smoothest cruise we've ever been ever. on. Ever. You wouldn't even know you were on yep. a ship. You didn't know. So, um, how, like, I just want to talk about, like, how are we going to prepare for, are you listening to me? Yeah. Are you texting someone? No. Oh, no. Uh, how are we going to prepare for cold weather and then down in the Bahamas? Huh? I, well, that's what we, we, so, like, when we go there, you know, we just dress warm and then, you know, pack in our suitcase the, the warm stuff. But we are trying to, we okay, so initially we said we're going to do carry-on only. And then we thought, oh my God, we can't do this. Because no. we have all these big, well, number one, we're big people. We got big clothes. Yep. They're not, winter clothes like that are not fitting in a carry-on. Right, So right, we're going right. to bring one big suitcase and um, try to minimize our stuff. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna do that. We're you know, I gotta bring a coat. We gotta bring a coat, of course. Yeah. Um, a winter coat. Yep. But I wish I had a raincoat now. I don't have one. Do you have one? No. We're gonna need I think we're gonna need some kind of a not a pure raincoat, but like a maybe I should order some extra big ponchos. Do you think we should just wear a poncho? We could do a poncho. In Alaska too? Yeah. We yeah, could. but that might be uncomfortable though. Well, it's like wearing a plastic bag. We could just oh! <laughs> punch your head and hold it. Wear a big fifty-five gallon bag around. All those black ones. That's what I'll yeah. need. Yeah. God. Um. So maybe we should get ponchos or something. Yeah. I want to be out on the deck, but we don't like being wet like that. So one of the things that you know, because I think we go under a bridge. Do we go under the Brooklyn Bridge? Yeah. And you go by Statue of Liberty. We want to be up on top to watch that. That's one of the things that we want We're to gonna do. We're going to sing that Alicia Keys song, too. And it's the night of the Super Bowl, so I'm not going to worry about I'm probably not going to be worried about gambling that first night. So I'm going to be wanting to see, um, you know, I'm going to want to see, you know, what this ship has to offer. But also. We're going to be saving seats. Somebody that's a contributor on our Facebook page. Jay Jones, uh -huh. he actually said, just be ready. It's not the normal carnival layout. So if you're used to the carnival layout, it's not normal. It's a little off-putting, I think he said. Mm. But he said it's still a really good time. Okay. And it has a lot of cool things to offer, like the restaurants and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> he actually started putting out our... Venezia. Venezia video. I almost don't. I also almost need you to say it so that I know. <laughs> okay. uh, Venezia videos. We started putting those out. Um, we like to put out videos a couple oh. weeks before, and we've always done that. Mike Lovas has copied us with that for 100% sure. Listen, Paul well, Mine said a winter coat as opposed to your summer coat, Josh. Yeah. Thanks for that, Paul. Yep. Thank you, Paul. And um, yeah, so. We're just excited about going on a different kind of ship. Oh, we yeah. watched this one person's video, and they were, like, real negative. They were like, oh, it's not even an Italian. Da -da -da. It's like, okay, oh, yeah. like, yeah, like, what's it supposed to be? Like, yeah, it's Italian style. That's it. It's not like... I mean, what does make it Italian? The Rudy and people don't shave their pits, or what? Yeah, I know, that's French. Oh. <laughs> um... The other thing you have to think about with weather, I was thinking that we should talk about is what you have to like prepare for. Like if it's raining, you might have to have extra things to do inside. So something that we always pack are like some games to play. Right. Yeah. We're going to be pa packing some games. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure we're going to have to dodge Amanda. She's going to be bugging us a lot. Stop talking about Amanda. What? 
What do you mean? We're gonna, I mean, we're going to hang out with her, but I think she's going to want to hang out too much and want the Dodger. Is that true? No. Amanda, I won't be dodging you. Uh, Mel said, I'm so excited about the Jubilee. There are so many new drink options with the new bars, and this being our first Excel ship, I want to try it all. Yeah, those, those, it's really big, Mel. Uh, I told Mike Loveless that. I said, dude, you're going to be hard-pressed to try to get review every single restaurant in seven days. And I was right. Because you can. It's it's hard. Mm. Now, if you do like a back-to-back or something like that, it'd be a lot easier. But a seven-day cruise on the Excel class, it's just hard to do everything. Oh, yeah. It's hard on to seven do days. Again. Right. On seven days. Megs and C said, bring a small packable umbrella every cruise as well as packable rain jacket. That's smart. We don't do either one of those things. Carnival Cruise Addict says, layers... Man says, I'm debating if I should take a poncho for this cruise. Yeah, I think we might look at them, actually. Allison said, you don't have to pack your winter coat, though. Just wear it on the ship. That's smart. Yeah, I think, I mean, we're going to do that because we're wearing it on the plane. Meg said, insulating layers. Yep. And said, just bring your usual stuff, but for Embark and Depark, you need winter stuff. You live in Michigan. You have winter. I get dollar store raincoats. I bring them. Have never used them. Well, and we'll probably have to like sew those dollar store ones together to make a one big. Yeah. Uh, Billy J says being moist is not good. Not in that scenario, Billy. Meg said I sat this and I just live in Georgia. I haven't understood cold since 2001. Ah. I also said, dang it, forget to pack my raincoat for tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Gotta throw that in my suitcase oh, yeah. now. Amanda said, you guys can put your winter coat in our car if you want. I plan on leaving that stuff in the car. No, I'm bringing that, Amanda. Amanda, your two you, days is going to be cold Amanda, as hell. Amanda, bring that winter coat No, the ship is going to be so cold. All the windows and doors are going to be yeah, open. Yeah, so... Now, Amanda, this is what you're not understanding. The first time we ever went on a cruise in December down out of Charleston, a, a wretched a wretched town, by the way. Um, just, just joking. I'm just kidding. I'm just teasing Mike. Um, it's not a wretched town. It's a great town. But a lot of history. Um, but it was freezing. It was freezing. And just because all the windows and people going in and out and like stuff, it wasn't snowing or anything. No. But listen, it was... The coldest cruise we've been on, we couldn't sit on our for, and we were down in South Carolina, yeah. Amanda, in December, and we could not sit on our balcony. balcony. We could not; it was freezing. We so slept no, in our winter coat. You, you'd be an absolute fool. Did we leave, sleep in our winter coat? I don't remember, but you'd be an absolute fool to leave that on there yeah. in the car, Amanda. I would bring it, Amanda. Yep. Um, Kim said, we packed for two cold days leaving port and two cold days returning. I packed my normal cruise sundress for the rest. I'm packing a warm wrap, too, in case it's chilly in the evenings. Oh, yeah. I am not worried about just the first two days, last two days. I think we'll be chilly. Other than that, I think we'll be great. John said, leaving Thursday in a Carnival Paradise. Well, we look forward to ah. hearing about that, John, because we are actually going to Carnival Paradise soon. So, well, not soon, but actually soon for us. Barb said, uh, oh. Baronizo Bridge and Statue of Liberty will be on the starboard <laughs> side and Manhattan Skyline on the port side. Oh, okay. okay. So it's not the Brooklyn Bridge. Mex said, I just assume lots of layers is best for you. Yeah. Tess said, good night, guys. If I don't see you guys, have a night. awesome cruise. Thank you. Thanks, Tess. I think our, what's next week's our last? No, we, we're in New York, though, after that. Okay, so next week will be our... We're going to talk all about the Venetia. We may do a pop-up, but we're going to be in New York. So, yeah, so next week is going to be all about the Venetia, right? Yeah, I'm glad that you're saying it right. Mel said, I wish we could go do a back-to-back, but not with our jobs right now. Though. Yeah, you know, the only reason that we're going on this many cruises is that I have some attitude this year, so I get an extra two weeks of vacation. Meg said, I want that keeb. That kebab. Ma- kebab that Michelle loved from Street Eats right now. It was good. I had a friend message me and say, dude, I, I wish on the ship we're going to have Street Eats because it looks so good. <laughs> Tess says, you guys are being crazy. Wait, I thought Tess was going to bed. <laughs> I just cruised out of Baltimore a couple weeks ago, and when we had the first winter storm, it was okay. Oh. Stop overthinking it. Huh? We're not. Tess, <laughs> calm down, Tess. Wait, you calm down, Josh. No, Tess needs to calm down. <laughs> this ain't the first time she tried to backtalk me. <laughs> we're, nah. we're blocking you, Tess. We're not. Travel Tess. Adventures with Eric B. Said, hey, hey. Josh, said, hey, Eric, you going to be rooting for the Lions, bud? 
Uh, Mel said, we bought ponchos before on a cruise because of rain, ended up using it, and had a stranger come up and ask if they could use it when we got back inside. Really? Ew. I would have said no. I would say, don't even look at me. Yeah. <laughs> Mike said, I, I think Mike did ghost. Mike totally ghosted. Mike left. This was him. <laughs> and he left. <laughs> Mech said, I'm afraid of Alaska cruise. I bring sweaters on a Caribbean cruise oh. out of Florida. Well, you know what we should do for our Alaska cruise? Be, bring a thermometer. We should do that for this cruise. Yeah. How cold is it going to be on the ship? Oh, yeah. We're going to do it. I better Carla said, Meg, Alaska is only colder on the outside decks. Mm. Um, Carla said, Meg, Car Alaska is amazing. Eric said, do you guys do land casinos when you're not cruising? Not really. I mean, maybe we go to some, but not really. Yeah. I mean, maybe like three or four times a year. We, yeah, three or four times a year for land casinos. Yeah. Probably not that much anymore. No, because we just we have five. Well, we have five cruises this year, so oh, we I mean, be going maybe, at all. we might go once. Yeah. If somebody invites us, if somebody invites us out or something, we go. Oh, yeah. We scrounge up like 100 each. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, like, when we go, like, 100, you know, that could go in five minutes. Yeah, that's minutes. nothing, yeah. 100 ain't <laughs> really a fun time. No, I'm worried about this next cruise our casino budget. It's pitiful. We'll talk about it next week. Yeah. But, yeah, we're going to be laying out. So, next week on our live show, we're going to talk about the Venezia, the Venetia. The Venetia. The Venetia. Yeah. We're going to talk about it. Yeah. We're going to talk about the tours. We're going to talk about what we're thinking about it, our worries going on in New York. We're going to talk about it all next oh, week. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the live show next week. We got a plan. Uh, Jeff and Amy said, the real life was awesome. Love me, me on it. Yeah, oh, my gosh. <laughs> when he drank too much the that first, one night. Eric, 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 Eric. He kept doing that, didn't he? I like it when he was in bed. <laughs> yeah, that's when he was like, Eric, Eric. And then I liked it where he's like just ran and thing into a wall. That car. I liked it when he peed in the corner. Vern Troyer was funny on that. It's so crazy to watch all these shows. Oh and yeah, see like how many people are not with Dead. us anymore? It's crazy when you watch those shows. Yeah. yeah, I mean on that on that season alone with Vern Troyer, he's dead. China's dead. Yeah. Who else? I think there's one other. Maybe yeah. not. But then we we're just watching the newest one, and the guy from Smash Mouth. Smash Mouth. See? He's dead. Um. Yeah, man, it's just crazy when you watch it's older nuts. shows and you're like, these people are dead, man. Yeah. Um, Eric Chung said, they should have street eats on all ships. You know what I wish they did have on all ships, though, for real? Shacks. Mm -hmm. Seriously. I think that should be a mainstay. Yeah. Eric said, go Lions. I, def I, I identify, identify with fellow long-suffering fans. Thank you, Eric. I think our suffering is going to be over. Honestly, I think we're going to listen. I think we, I don't think it's a long shot. I think we can beat 49ers. I really do. I think it's a 50 50 punching chance, man. Oh, my glasses are really dirty. Eric said that to Eric said to Eric, I agree. They need to update all the carnival ships. I was looking at the Valor, but the food options are so weak. But listen, Eric B. On the older ships, just 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 the way it is. Yeah. Like if you want the more food options, you got to pay the more money to go on the newer ships, right, Michelle? That's 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 just the game. Well, and like what we do on the older ships is we eat a deli more often, or we go to Seafood Shack. Right. We'd go to Seafood Shack with Ann. We would definitely meet Ann at the Seafood Shack. Yeah. No doubt. Eric, uh, oh, hello, said, hello. Said, hello. I choked real bad on hot chicken sandwich from Big Chicken. Oh, dang. Because it was too hot or because he had bones in it or? Is hello your first or last name? <laughs> Eric said, got to get that Big Chicken. Just set up the station on the you know, Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, Eric said, hello. How was it the Uncle Jerome? That's a good one. I like that. So, Carl Cruzak says, Eric B., the Valor is a great ship, though. Yes. We do like the Valor. We highly recommend the Valor. We haven't been on it in a long time, but it was a real, it was a fun one for us. Oh, Lovey's back. Yeah, Lovey. <laughs> he should. <laughs> yep. He, is, he bounced. He was like that Homer Simpson, like uh, disappearing into the bushes. Yep. <laughs> Mike seriously was like, don't look at me, guys. Uh oh, Cruz and Cruz says hello, guys. Hey. Hello, Lions. Thank you. Woo. Hello, said Uncle Jerome was what I choked on because the powder went down the wrong pipe. Oh no! 
time she was like, her, he or she ate it, all powder went down. And he was like, ooh, and the powder went, poof. Anthony, I'm curious how the MDR menus will be for 12 days. I know you two would meet me at the seafood shack. You always stopped and talked to me every time I saw you. Even though Josh yelled at me one time. I did yell at you in front of her, but... No, yelled at me. I yelled at her in front of you. you. But well, listen, right. guys, I mean, we can't, we're not perfect. We're <laughs> human, man. We're going to get mad. Sorry, Ann. But listen, <laughs> uh, yeah, we, Ann, you probably would never book a cruise for Mike Lovelace ever again. Josh. Hello, yeah. son. That's exactly how it happened, Josh. The powder went boom. <laughs> yeah. Dave. <laughs> Captain said, Ann, how, Ann, I would have met you at Seafood Shack and actually showed up. Oh, my God. Lovey said, this horse is dead. <laughs> Poor Lovey. Poor Lovey. He's losing subs. <laughs> He's laughing. <laughs> Lovey, you know what I just am looking at right now? What? Sealed Carnival Monopoly game, bro. Oh, yep. <laughs> Remember those? Down there. Remember those? My yeah. foot's on it, dude. Remember when somebody was signing those and giving them away for a free twenty nine ninety nine super chat? We were. <laughs> no, we never did. Oh. Somebody else was giving away Monopoly sealed Monopoly carnival. I thought it was forty nine ninety nine. Yeah, it might have been. What's this? Holiday Inn in Paris. I told you about that. What was that? That's not for me. <laughs> Wait a minute. General Manager, Southfield, Michigan. Somebody was making trips up to here for a late night inspection. <laughs> hey, wait, yes. is this one of these Oriental fans? Yeah. <laughs> What's those people in the South say? Uh, um, I'm flustered. I'm flustered. What'd they say? I don't know. I don't Southern think, thing. I don't think that's it. I don't know what made Made in China. I don't, I don't know, know what made me want to open this, China. but there's a luggage thing in here. <coughs> there's a cork. Oh, no. What is this? Wait, what's this? Oh. Oh. It doesn't work. Oh. This desk was here when we made, when we got, we Wait a minute, though. Left here. It might work. Oh. Yeah, it has batteries in it. Let me see. It wasn't <laughs> screwed on right. Listen, we could wear this on a cruise. It's a pen. Yeah, it's broke. It's a pen. Okay, put it back. Well, I don't know what else we'll find. A bunch of erasers. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, this is... Dude, this stuff's been here for like 20 years. We never looked at it. Like, cat. what do you need all these tags for? Keys. <laughs> Your aunt had this many dang keys? <laughs> Man, you're I'm hot, you're cold. Yeah. Hey. Jeez, look at like furnace, girl. <laughs> um Okay. Oh, hang on. Uh oh wait. Lovey said, I need to know the episode and timestamp of when we agreed to meet. Oh god. Oh, and the lovey this is driving Lovey nuts. He wants to go back to his live show and research it. He's gonna but he can't. It. He don't know. So listen, he this is driving him nuts. Yeah. He's pulling out what little hair he has left right now. Mike's totally bald right yeah. now. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and said, I know you would have Captain Billy J. Here I had told my husband we were meeting someone special. We looked all over for him. Then I was embarrassed he didn't show. Oh my god, this gets worse. I'm screenshotting that one. That's going on Mike's wall. And his lovey's lovey's uh, page. <laughs> Carla said, "I declare." Oh, I, I declare. declare. Chris, I do declare. Uh, lovey said, "BJ, you'd had to pay at seafood check. We oh. know you wouldn't be there." <laughs> Dang, lovey's trying to take other people down with him, isn't he? <laughs> lovey's on a sinking ship, and he's trying to yep. take Billy J down with him. Listen, Carnival Cruise Addict said, "Back to weather. Use that fan when it gets." <laughs> <laughs> we do take a fan. Oh, yeah, our venti fan. Yeah, you guys can look into a venti fan. It's awesome. It it's one of our good. best thumbnails, too, if you didn't know. <laughs> um, What's your thought on a soup station on Carnival that's open all day? 
I just want to have the availability of soup all day. I'm going to say hard pass. I'm going to say that's probably available <laughs> on Holland America. Viking. Holland America. <laughs> Holland America and Viking. Yeah, that I sounds like say... something that, I no offense if you yeah. are. Hey, you sound like but a if soup you're like, guy. Yeah, if you're like 65, or if you're like 70 or older, you want a soup available all day. I'm just saying, Eric. <laughs> Listen, soup's not for me. Oh, no, okay. I'm not eating soup. You know what you could do, though, I bet? Soup's not a meal. <laughs> well, no soup for you. Um, You know what you could do? You could bring those powdered soups and <laughs> put hot water. What? <laughs> put hot Billy water. Billy said, and I would have been embarrassed, too. I'm so sorry for your terrible experience you had. As Eric Billy said to Lovey, that's one of the few places I pay extra for. I love lobster rolls. <laughs> Mike, this is just bad for you, dude. Uh, <laughs> Lovey said, you sure that wasn't the Traveling Gilbert fan? <laughs> uh, Lovey said, we ate special. <laughs> Bill said, <laughs> seafood shack was the best out of valor for us. They seasoned it. Well, yeah. <laughs> it is, they do season with Old Bay. Oh they throw God. that crap on like it's like they got a stock, like they got a tractor trailer out back at Old Bay. Right, Michelle? I can't even breathe right now. Dude, <laughs> Billy J lit you up, Mike. Uh, oh, let me say, Michelle is as confused as I am. Maybe a dream. <laughs> Michelle Loveless, yeah. <laughs> And said, thankfully, I met so many other nice people, I will forget about Loveless. I do still like Michelle and Anthony, though. <laughs> Holy crap, Ann! Dang! Dang! Did you, I didn't start this, Mike. Mike said, I did start Mike it. said, damn, man. <laughs> Daniel Field says, love Michelle's out of breath laugh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Carmel Cruz X says no soup for you. Uh, what about tomato soup and crackers? That's a soup. Tess says, Eric Chung, I took a cup of soup. Michelle, stop laughing at me. <laughs> Carl says, Lipton cup of soup, Michelle. Yeah, Manfred says, My mom and I like carnival soups. Well, Amanda, you're you act like an old I person. Can, I can probably surprise. say this. I don't know if I've ever had soup on a cruise. I'm serious. I mean, Amanda does act like a 60 year old woman. <laughs> So this is normal. Uh, Mel said, let's not turn this into a Meg versus Nikki beef. What? Who's that? He, is that on uh, Jersey Shore? I don't know. Uh, Ann said, no, Mike. The Gilberts showed up when they were supposed oh. to meet me. They hugged oh. us and spent time with us. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. okay. Mike, listen. It sounds like she's got all the receipts, Mike, so you might want to just... Bow out now. <laughs> Captain said, I love roasting lovey. Oh, yeah. Eric Chen said, what about crackers and soup? That makes it a meal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Chen <Trent> said that. <laughs> no, it doesn't make it a meal. Cruz Cruz says, he's pulling his hair out looking at a young Tommy Jarvis. <laughs> oh, like a young Tommy Jarvis. Oh, God. Hello said, what's with all the hate? Hatred on soups. Got to get down with Olive Garden and limited soups and breadsticks. I don't eat soups, man. I like a soup every once in a while, yeah. but I'm not huge on soups. What's up don't... with cold soup? <laughs> I know. What about those? I don't really get the cold soup. Mike, like I said, she's got all the receipts, Mike. Eric said, is a bisque a meal? It's thicker and be can be quite filling. Not a meal. <laughs> It's not a meal. It's not a meal, Jerry. It's not a meal, Jerry. Uh, Eric said lobster bisque. Barb says, I do not know, know Anne personally, but remind me never to make her mad. Anne will roast you. Oh, man, Barb. You're right. Mel said, no, Meg. Oh. Be Stallion and Nicki Minaj. Y'all haven't heard that craziness? Well, Nikki going crazy over Meg's new diss track. No, I haven't. Uh -uh. I only know hoes in this house. That's yeah. the only song I know. Simon Jar said, hey, I love soup. I order it at every dinner on the cruise. Yeah, I can't stand soup. Janie's it's it's old. an old person thing. You know what, Janie? I stand corrected. Not I that you're old, Simon but to me, it's like, like when I worked at a deli and we served soup, 
I would say, I'm not saying everybody, but I'm saying majority of the people that ate soup on the regular were like older people. Like for like their lunch and stuff. Yeah, their just dinner. soup though. Yeah, they didn't get a soup and a sandwich. Yeah, like I get soup and a sandwich. Like they would get soup and crackers and that's like their meal. Or soup well, and like a piece of bread. To be fair, Eric was just saying, does crackers and a soup make a meal? Obviously it does. No, for, no. Well, if you're old. What's the age? I'm going to say 65 and older. Oh, but my dang. parents don't eat soup, really. My dad hates soup, and he's 64. My mom eats soup. Well, she's old now. though. She's older than 64. She's 66. That's right. So maybe 65 is the Oh, cutoff. she's going to be 66 this year. I think 65 is like, that's when you're old and you're a soup lover. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well. Okay, so where are we at now? Oh. Uh, and does love lobster bisque. Meg said, by the way, not my diss track. Eric said, clam chowder is delicious. Chicken noodle is definitely a meal. No, Eric, it's not. Well, it's not, it's not a, a meal, meal Jerry. I have. It's not a meal, Jerry. A soup's not a meal. I'm like, not silly. I do like soup for lunch sometimes, though. But I'll bring something else with it. Carnival said, Carnival used to... How do we get on soup as a meal? Because uh, I said it. Cold it's, on, weather. it's on Seinfeld. That's where I got it from. <laughs> Carnival said, Carnival Crew like said, Carnival used to have good cold soups, actually. I can't uh, get down with a cold soup. LGY official said, can you give my dad Joe a shout out, please? Hey, Hi, Joe. Joe. Hi, Dad Joe. How are you? Daddy Joe. Hope you're doing all right, Joe. Uh, go Lions. Uh, Paul said, love me some soups. Simajara said, I am old. No, you're not, Simajara. No, you're, you're not, not old. You just like, you like things that old people like. That's like Amanda. Stephen Lisa said, cold soup should never be served after man discovered fire. Amen. Yeah, it doesn't make much sense to me. Amanda says, I love the cold smoothies in the bowl in the MDR. That's sick. No, I don't, would never eat now for sure that I'm type 2 diabetic. I would never have a cold soup. Yeah, they're sick. With Jenny fruit. Steele said, I've had them in MDR, French onion, broccoli, cheddar. I, ha I lied. On this live stream, did you know that? You had French onion. Nuts. I had French onion soup in the steakhouse before. Yep, she did. Cruz Cruz says, soup when they left the set of the teeth in the cabin. <laughs> Carla McClendon said, Josh, I'm surprised living in Michigan you don't like soup since it's cold in the winter. Yeah, we but like chili. I like chili. I don't like, the like beans. soup. I don't like soup that much. I mean, I'll have split pea. I like that. Yeah, split pea. I like clam chowder sometimes. Yeah, but. Yeah. I like that sirloin burger. I mean, I like it sometimes. I'm just not a big soup person. Never have been. Oh, no. Uh, man said, my favorite is the carnival mushroom. That sounds absolutely disgusting. That sounds like a big no. Yeah, that's sick, Amanda. Eric Chung said, just don't eat it around me, please. Eric Chung said, do you guys have a list of foods to try in New York? I'll post some recs uh, in the Facebook group. So these are our three things we want to try. And we already had plans for one. Oh, yeah. We're going with some friends. We're going with some pizza friends place. to a pizza place. John's in Times Square. Yep. Pizza. Yes. And... Uh, also, we want to try a New York City hot dog at a cart. Not, not the gross ones though. But you don't know. What if? And are you getting sauerkraut? I'm on getting it? sauerkraut okay. and mustard. Yeah, me too. And then list. You want the onions? You said you want to try. Them. I'm gonna try the onions if they're grilled. Well, they're in that thing. They are. They're okay. Like well. Yep. And we also would love to try a real New York deli. Jewish deli. These are all the things that we can try because we're staying right in New York. Times Square. Right. Yeah. Mel said, I love the fruit soup. I don't think we'll eat an MDR at all except for seed a brunch with all the options. That's right. You, you know what? It. I think that we're going to be eating. Well, she's on the Jubilee, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think we're going to try the MDR a bunch on this 12 day. Don't you think? Yeah, we're in. Yes. Uh, Ann said, I could eat soup and crackers for lunch and be done, but for dinner, I want more. Yeah. Joe said, When are you both going skydiving without parachutes from 25,000 feet like Luke Aiken did with his skydive jump? Are you kidding? Wait, wasn't Joe? this guy on Lovey's Fat Life the other day? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You asked the same question. Yeah, there. no, we're not. But we did like, I did like that video. Lonzo said tomato soup and grilled cheese. Now that is a meal because you're eating a grilled cheese with it. Yeah. That's different. A sandwich with, paired with a soup makes it a meal. Oh, no, I'm not reading that, Billy J. Stop. Max said they used to have great pistachio. 
Oh gosh. Amanda said my nine year old nephew loves the clam chowder. Well, you know, we knew something was wrong with that kid. Stephen Lisa said, but would you trade a meal for soup or does it need to be a meal? It's a meal. Uh, can you make another uh, camping video? LGY said, yeah, I think eventually you probably will. I don't know. To be honest, we got a cabin we go to. Meg said, yes, no soup for me, only chili. Yeah, I prefer chili. What does Stephen Lisa... So, wait, I want to think about this a little bit. It says, would you give up a meal to have soup instead? No. I wouldn't, just depending on how hungry I was. Kim said, "Do you, how do you feel about a good hearty stew? Yes, love stews it. are good. We just had a stew. I love a stew. That's not a soup. Yeah. Paul said, beer and cheddar soup on Carnival is great. Paul said, cat's deli. Yeah, that's the one we that. were thinking about. Yeah. The sandwiches are like super thick. Eric said, question, since you don't consider a soup a meal, is a hot dog a sandwich? No. no. Hot dog is not hot a sandwich. Hot dog is a hot dog. That's right. Cruz Cruz says, maybe y'all will be parked by pranked, pranked by Impractical Jokers. Oh, That'd be fun. Well, they might get us because we watch them all the time. Uh, Meg said, Cats is too busy, Mr. Paul. I think they can find better. Eric said, Cats is good. Also try a chopped cheese sub. Okay. Uh, I'm just trying to get through this. Uh, uh, oh, Destination Fun is here. Hey, guys. Uh, oh, Ann said, I'm not, I, I'm not really mad. I just had been looking forward to meeting the family and it hurt my feelings when he didn't show. I would have set it, I would have set it up, except he said multiple times he goes there. Okay. Pat says, got off Liberty yesterday. First cruise in winter time. We'll do again. Perfect weather during the day. Cool breeze on the deck every night. Stayed in the ocean over an hour. Many summer in, in Bimini. Yes. I, we like cruising in the winter. Yeah. We definitely do. Uh, so, yeah, I think we're good, though, because um, we're over our time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, hello says, look to the black and white cookie, Michelle. Where? He just says, look to black the black and, and white, white cookie. cookie. That's from off Seinfeld. Okay, guys, I think oh, we're good. Oh, Kim Taylor says, if you go to Cats, get a knish. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys, I, I think we're getting off here. It's past 10. Oh, yeah, Lily's. Lily's scratching my legs up. Lily, go. Oh! <laughs> Okay, bye guys. Bye, have Next a week, week we're doing the Venetia. It's all beef hot dog. We like it all beef 